Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. I'm known as Carnivore Yogi on Instagram. Thank you for coming back. I wanted to make a quick video showing you guys what I do with the leftover meat from meat stock. Now, if you missed my meat stock video, I will make sure I link it below this video, but I do a meat stock at least once a week, um, if not more, just depending on how much broth I go through. And I always have a lot of meat left over. So usually I do not eat the chicken, but I will eat the red meat, the beef, the ruminant animals, the lamb. When I make the meat broth off of those animals, I will eat it, but it's still a ton of meat left over. So this recipe I'm gonna show you guys is something that I make for my family, and this is typically what I do with that leftover meat when I do make a meat stock. So this is a question I get a lot. It is not carnivore, it is keto. I use uh, beef suet. There are some plants. <laughs> There are some plants. Don't at me um, in the comments if you get triggered by plants or anti-nutrients. I know, and I don't eat them, but my family tolerates them just fine. So again, don't at me. Um, this is just what I do. And I'm trying to make more of these kind of like lifestyle videos to show you guys like behind the scenes of my life, like what I do, especially since it is December, I'm trying, I'm attempting to do Vlogmas, so a video every day up to Christmas. We'll see how it goes with life stresses, et cetera, et cetera. But without further ado, let's jump into this cooking video where I show you guys how I make a high fat keto dinner for my family using the leftover meat from the meat stock. All right, let's go. Favorite, so. What you're gonna need, what I'm gonna use for this meal, I've got this awesome cast iron wok, stainless steel pan. Okay, I'm going to make this riced cauliflower in the stainless steel pan, and I'm going to, with the riced cauliflower, I'm gonna use my rendered beef suet. I have a a guest here I'll show you guys who's come to observe Can you say hello yeah yeah so <laughs> okay sorry for the lighting so if you hear music in the background it is not something I dubbed in it is uh, my daughter's iPad so hopefully I don't get a copyright strike for that um, okay what else I've got my chicken I have one white onion. I will probably only use half of this. I also have a few peppers that I'm gonna cut up. And this is the seasoning I'm gonna put on top of the chicken, okay? And I also have these shells. Now my, my daughter is not gonna eat these, but my husband will have these with his meal. But let's go ahead. I'm gonna show you everything going into the pans. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some beef suet, some rendered beef suet. You can watch a video I did all about fat. I'll link it below how I make this rendered beef suet. I'm gonna put it into the cast iron where I will put the peppers and onions and all of the things. And then I'll do another separate pan with that beef suet for the cauliflower rice with a little bit of water in there. Now the cauliflower rice is so super simple. You just keep it in that pan for, you know, seven, eight minutes or so on a low heat. That beef suet in there really gives it some nice added fat and it's a nice little thing to put underneath this mixture. But I'm gonna go ahead and chop up the peppers. I will chop up the onions and put them into that cast iron with the melted beef suet and some water. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the entire chicken. Now you'll notice that the liver hearts and honestly some of the bone that's like super soft, it's not like hard crunchy bone, but some of the bone that it just like kind of disintegrates when you're cooking it will also go into the chicken. I'm taking it off of the bone, but I'll show you kind of what's left from the bones, not a whole lot, but I put everything in there because my family's gonna get all the 
healthy cartilage and marrow, the dark meat, the light meat, all the things. And then a gigantic dollop of butter. Now this is raw butter from a farm, a local farm, and I just put it in there because chicken's not very fatty at all. You guys know this, but I'm trying to make this nutrient dense and fattening and all the good things for my family. So that will go in there with the butter, with the seasonings. You just stir it up in there. I probably keep it on the stove top on a really low heat for anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. When I'm ready to serve this, I usually for my daughter will just cut up a half of an avocado. My husband also just loves the avocado. Put out that cauliflower rice that's been simmering there with the beef suet and the water for anywhere from seven to 10 minutes or so and then put that chicken mixture on top. Now this is a lot of chicken, you guys, so it will last for like two lunches for my daughter. It's a plate for both of them to eat for dinner, so it lasts a few days. And again, I do this not just with uh, chicken, but I'll do it if I make a big meat broth with lamb or with beef because I will eat a little bit of that ruminant animal but not, en not enough for what I have, and I don't like to waste things. So when I make the broth, my family can usually count on getting this, what I, what I call it, I just call it Mexican, that's what I call it to them. They count on getting that at least once a week, sometimes twice, but my daughter will again take it, have it for lunch the next day, I just store it in a nice little glass container, keep it in the fridge, send it to school, it makes a great lunch. But that is a keto recipe that I have made for my family. Let me know what you think. Comment below. I'm happy to do more videos about this. Hopefully I'm not going to get too many trolls telling me never to cook with peppers. Just make sure you take the seeds out if you are going to use peppers, but whatever. People are always going to have an opinion um, <laughs> no matter what you do. So I really do hope that this was a helpful video for you guys. Maybe give you some ideas for cooking for your family. I'm happy to do more like this. Again, comment below and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.